Okay, the moment of truth. I'm back in my studio after letting these dry overnight and looking at what the results are. Um, not super excited about anything. This one, for instance, I think it was more interesting before I put that um, iridescent over it. You know, I lost some of the composition stuff that was happening, you know, the light and dark contrast that was creating some forms there and I've sort of blurred that out and um, I have no idea what this painting is about because I just I'm having a hard time dealing with something that's just so different in palette and concept from the rest of the series so <laughs> we'll leave that guy to the side this one is okay but it's sort of sad because there were layers under there that were interesting and what I want to create is sort of a palimpsest which is where you see the layer, the effect of layer upon layer and what I did was create layers that obscured what was underneath and so it feels like a lot of my work has gone to waste um, but that's okay. I trust the process like I know something good is going to come out of this and I can just let it go and, and also maybe it can just be something for me to learn you know when I'm working on this type of painting to be more light-handed however sometimes I can get too uptight and too light-handed and too tentative and then I don't take the risks I don't you know make discover new things you know risk discovering new things almost inevitably um, is a result of taking some grand risks or even just playful risks as you heard me yesterday so here I am okay and then this one is just like ah, I'm so not into this it looks just like um oh shoot I can't do that okay to keep it the same orientation so um in the current parlance, it looks like a hot mess, and I don't even like that phrase, but I'm, it seems apropos here. I'm just not crazy about what's happening here. Not at all, and I feel like it just needs tons more work, and, um, and that's okay. But I had fun, and that's always worth it to me. So let's just look. There's some interesting little passages, you know, of some of that movement, like, the scale and composition of that movement, but what happens is when you get on the grand scale, it's just lost, and there is no compositional anything that's interesting to me. So as far as the most successful at this point in the game, that doesn't mean in the end that this will be the most successful, but I'm really pleased. Again, this has that palimpsest. Um, you can see all the layers, all the work that was done in all the layers and and it's much more apparent in person than I can make it on this little iPhone video um, I like these silver forms I like the composition overall and I'm eager to put some more layers glazing on top so that will push those silver forms further back um, and I'm just going to have fun with it.